Alright guys, this is the third and final installment to my honeymoon vlog. This is Doug and I in San Diego at the San Diego Zoo and checking out some of the beaches and then like the trip home. My phone did die at the zoo so I only got part of like the zoo footage. But I hope you guys enjoy anyway and thanks for watching. Hey guys, so it's pretty late in the day on Thursday. It's about 3 o'clock and we spent all morning in the World Mark, uh, what is it, Travel Share presentation where they try to get you to buy in because we are guests of owners and so we went in there with the intention of just listening to the spiel and getting zoo tickets and enjoying the zoo all today and we walked out of there as World Mark owners, is that what they're, Wyndham owners, whatever the title is, so hopefully we can make some good use out of it. I was not expecting to leave there with a big fat loan and it being three o'clock, so see you guys at the zoo.
All right, guys, uh, my teeth are red because I had a red margarita. We are back in the car. We went to the zoo with only a few hours to go until it closed, so we powerhoused through the zoo and looked at it as much as we could, and I recorded some, and my phone died, so I couldn't like record or anything. We went to the cafe, Front Street Cafe and Cantina for food and had a margarita. I'm surprised they sold alcohol in there, and then they also let me leave with it. I don't know if they realized that or not. But um, it was cool to see the animals and like the wild cats for me. It was really cool to see the wild kitties, but um, kind of sad at the same time because the animals were really sleepy or just, you know, not really doing much. Um, but it was still pretty cool. But like some of those animals are endangered, so in the wild they would have just been either, you know, duck gone from predation or poachers. So, I mean, like for those animals, you know, they're lucky to be in there and they can try and breed them and stuff and we were in there and they there was like a a baby cheetah or jaguar that had just been born yep. so that was pretty cool and yeah my face is healing so well hopefully by the time this video goes up my face will be all healed again so we are gonna head out to mission beach and um check out the beach because i've never been like to the straight ocean except for like on the west coast of Washington which the beaches are it's not the same <laughs> at all you know it's down here actually I have no idea just of like what I imagine and what I've seen on TV so we're gonna do that and then hopefully there's some like some bar on the beach or something Russ Boulevard is what we're looking for so yeah see you guys at the beach hopefully I can get my phone charge up a little bit in the car I'm really exhausted, like days of walking and running around, but um, yeah. If anybody out there is a world mark owner, let me know your thoughts and stuff because just small buyer's remorse, you know. I did not expect to have this sort of lighting right now, but we are just out of Cannonball, so we're on the beach in the dark. I didn't think my phone was gonna come through like this, and maybe 
it won't be as bright as I'm seeing it right now when I put it on my computer, but I can see myself, so I'm assuming <laughs> that it's bright. So yeah, we are on Mission Beach, and I just I bought these flip-flops on the boardwalk here, or not the boardwalk, but whatever you call it, because I had tennis shoes on from the zoo, and I wanted to be able to put my feet in the sand, but the water is colder than I expected but still warm enough to where me living in the northwest it's not cold at all and everyone else on the beach is like running away from the waves and I'm like just letting it splash on my feet it feels nice and I haven't been to this like pretty part of the ocean before so I'm gonna try to record and show you guys what I'm seeing like I said it's dark so I don't know how good it's gonna come in but uh, let's check it out So yeah, I hope you guys saw that. It's really pretty out here and we got to eat and, well we didn't eat, we got to drink some drinks next to, okay. oh, the tide is coming in. So like my tights are soaked right now. But yeah, it was amazing. The sand feels amazing on my toes. Cool. And we're just gonna head back to the condo, I believe. And then tomorrow we're gonna make our way up the coast. We're gonna stay like on the coast, probably Northern California, and then head up, probably stay in Oregon, and then be home, because I miss my animals. So yeah. All right guys, so half of this bar is inside, sort of like undercover, and the other half of the bar doesn't have a roof, so they allow vaping, which is amazing. So I'm like, okay, I'll sit on this side. And they're like Halloween decorated, look. I love it. Oh my god. And look at that spidey on the umbrella. So yeah, I <laughs> we stopped here. I don't even know what this place is called. We stopped here because I had to pee and we figured, you know, anything close on by the beach is probably bathrooms, customers only. I figured that before we even came in. So I was like, okay, well, if it's customers only, then I'll have a Coors Light. And it is, so I bought myself a Coors Light and peed. Probably gonna have to pee because of the Coors Light, but we'll see. Everyone gets the same thing every time. Uh, you know I can hear you, right? You know. Good morning guys, it's a little bit late in the morning. I didn't vlog a lot last oh, night after on, we man. left the beach. We just went to Doug's uncle, aunt and uncle's house. They live down in San Diego, but now we are headed back up the coastline. Got my Starbucks. Ice chai this time. It's funny because up at in Washington where we live, it's really cold, so I order my chai hot and it took me a couple times to stop ordering my chai hot while we were down in California because it's hot down here and a hot chai is not <laughs> is not preferable a iced chai on a hot day so I got my iced chai but when we get back up to Washington it's gonna be my hot chai again so we're just gonna head up the 5 and then hit the 101 which is on the coastline up the west coast and we're gonna sightsee and we're just going to stay somewhere, probably Northern California tonight, and then um, Santa Rosa. Mm -hmm. And then we'll uh, head up again tomorrow and stay in Astoria, Oregon. And then head home on Sunday, and I can't wait to see my animals. I miss them. Do you miss the animals? I do. I miss them so much.
Pretty out here. Myrtle, Myrtle, yeah. yeah Myrtle. Let me make, clean off my foot as I sunk in the sand. Santa Rosa from San Diego it was 11 hours on the road so we just stopped at this little travel lodge like it was the littlest room ever like here's the bed TV bathroom vanity and like that closet is like as big as the bathroom so we're just here for the night and then we're off to Astoria which I don't even know how far away it is so much driving 
Alright guys, it is Saturday morning and what are you waiting for? We are on our way to Astoria, Oregon and it's another fucking 12 hour drive. So I'm not a happy camper. It's raining. I'm sick of being in the car. I want to be home. And turns out Astoria is literally the trip to there is two hours less than it would be to go all the way home. But we're going to go to Astoria. So, see you guys in fucking 12 hours. been on the road for 14 fucking hours. I am exhausted. I want to be home. I'm sad. I'm grumpy. We're in Astoria, Oregon at the Holiday Inn Express. King size bed. TV right here. That's the door to leave, which I want to do to go home, but I can't. I have to stay the night here. And then we have like this area. So we have a mirror here, closet, a nice bathroom, which, oh my gosh, I am going to take a shower because that last hotel we stayed at was gross as fuck. And then I got like a microwave, fridge, uh, sink area. And then this is a living room area, but it's so dark in here. There's a couch here. Let's see if I can get this one. Aha. So, ow, damn it, there's a wall there. So there's like a couch, ottoman, a little desk over there, another TV, uh, some sort of fireplace. Here it's, it's obviously fake. And then a desk. And our view of there's actually water out there. Like this is a little bay area. But um, I don't know how you guys obviously probably can't see that. And look, there's a train tracks. Not a plus. Yep, room tour over. I am going to shower and and just go to bed as soon as Doug gets in here. But yeah, oh, I'm so glad 
This is a good hotel. Because honestly, we just booked them not really, like, we just booked them last minute, like, quickly, not knowing anything, like, about them just finding a close, like, where we wanted to go, and so that's why the last one we stayed at. Fuck you, Travel Lodge. I will never stay at another Travel Lodge again. And, oh my god, I don't know if I said anything this morning, because I was so fucking grumpy, but, um... There was nobody in the office, so it's all like breakfast at 7.30. Well, I don't really care about having the breakfast because I get Starbucks anyways. We left at 8, between 8 and 8.30, and there was no one in the office. Locked the button that they said to push to call. There was other guests waiting, so like literally the, excuse me, trashiest hotel I've ever been to. I'm so tired. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. I don't see Doug. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Oh my god. This place is so much nicer than oh. when we stayed at last night. Yeah. After that shower, I feel nine million times better because the last hotel we stayed at, like I said, was so gross. There was no way I was gonna take a shower in that hotel. It had been a couple days since I washed my hair, you know? So, I washed my hair, all the good stuff. These pillows are labeled soft or hard and I'm actually, like, I don't like a lot of pillows underneath me when I sleep and I prefer softer pillows. So it's awesome to have the soft pillow labeled. Um, I would sleep with zero pillows before I slept with like a too puffy of a pillow. But yeah, I'm ready to crash out. So I'll see you guys in the morning. See Astoria in the morning. We're going to go to the Goonies house. Good morning, guys. Today is the day we get to go home. But I wanted to show you the view of our room in the daylight. I mean, it's not like super good, but like it's pretty cool. And it's gonna work. that will be a place to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna go over this, but no we're not. It's a train bridge, I think. I don't know. Alright guys, well this morning went to um, from zero to shit in three seconds because one, the only Starbucks in town hot wand or whatever they call it steamer wand was broken so they couldn't make any hot drinks but they're like oh we'll make you a cold drink are you kidding me it's raining here in Oregon today and then we find the Goonies house from the movie the Goonies one of Doug's favorite movies and there's a sign that says that we can't because it's up a hill and it says it's private property do not drive or walk up to view the Goonies house to take photos the police will be called like what kind of shit is that like who buys a historic like you know iconic house and then keeps everyone from seeing it I just think that's really shitty and selfish so we're on our way home we're heading out of Astoria and looking for anywhere to grab a coffee and some food I'm hungry all right see you guys back in Washington I ever did like an actual I'm home piece of the vlog because I was just so sick of being in the car so homesick just wanted to be home but that was my trip and I had so much fun I really really want to go back to San Diego it was beautiful and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in the next video bye